Hey there, welcome to Violet Vixen today, as well as fixing up the parfaits. So there's going to be a little bit of a confusion with a crossover in these videos. I am making bread and butter pudding with custard. This one here, I'm just getting ready and sitting it in the oven and it will cook tonight while we are having the rest of our Chinese dinner. So grab all this, grab a, a large tray with a tray that that will fit into so you can put boiling water in it and we'll be back. Okay so for our bread and butter pudding this one's fairly straightforward. We need butter at room temperature. That's winter, that's freezing so that's going to happen. 12 slices of white bread, 4 eggs, half a, half a kilo of custard, I got extra because I need it for something else next week anyway, half a cup of milk, the boiling water is for when we're cooking it, icing sugar is for the end and we're going to do cream and raspberries to serve. Okay so let's get to going. Put your uh, butter in the microwave for maybe 30 seconds, that'll sort of be like room temperature. So before I forget, you want your oven on 160 degrees and then grease that um, baking pan with some butter. Okay, so I have melted the butter and it's nice and melted. Okay, so grab your loaf of bread. Uh, I just got white bread from Aldi. You can use whatever bread you want, but I find with bread and butter pudding, Unless you want to use fruit bread, you're probably better off with just normal white bread. Two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, so we've got twelve pieces. So what we're going to do is we take the crusts off. It's really easy to do. So just grab them in maybe pile of four. And then we just go around like so grab yourself a butter knife and grab some of that butter of course if all this butter doesn't melt we are going to freeze it back into the fridge or not freeze it but okay so it just goes together like that I've got to grease the pan anyway so we will get yeast out of it you wonder how 12 slices of bread are going to look because you imagine them with crusts but without crusts they're pretty tiny and our lucky last one yes because it doesn't say how much butter we do not need as much as I had okay once they're done just do what we did before put them in a pile cut them diagonally so we've got triangles Some of them I've cut the crust off way too far in, others not, but we're all good. Oh, have I picked up an extra piece there? What's going on? I seem to be missing a piece. Weird. Let's spin that pan over. Grab a tissue and a bit of this butter. That's a lot of that butter. Let me just 
just grease that. It's the first time using this pan, so a bit of excitement going on. Normally if I'm out shopping and I see something cheaper and healthy, I'll grab it because I needed a good size roasting pan. I can use this for roasting or in this case today, it's having its first run as a bread and butter pudding basin. Alright, set that aside. So once we've got that done, we then basically put our sandwiches back in. I think I'm having a shocker of a day already today. Oh god. Okay, there we go. That's how we do it. So when you're tired because you didn't have much sleep last night because you slept in, you sort of do stupid things. I'll get there today eventually okay so we've got plenty of room which is fine because that will be filled up with the custard so in theory something a bit smaller than that is going to be fine so let's move what we don't need 